Greetings everybody. Well, we're off into winter camping season again and I like to camp in a hot tent, which means I like to burn wood. In order to do that, you need some certain implements of destruction as Mr. Cabela's Don over at Four Dog Stove Company likes to say, and he has a very similar video to this one. But uh, in my view, here's what uh, I use and uh, the reason why I like it, because it just plain works for me. And the first one is, is you just need a saw. Obviously, sawing wood when you have to process lots of it is infinitely less taxing and more efficient than using an axe to chop wood. There's just no two ways about it. Uh, my choice of implement in that one is the saw is a carpenter saw. It's the uh, Irwin Marathon Pro Touch Coarse Cut Carpenter Saw. This one's in 20 inch. They come in 15 and 24 inch. Uh, I would have taken the 24 inch one, but I was unable to obtain it at a, at any store. But uh, I did pick this up locally. Uh, as you can see here, I'll zoom in on the blade there. Uh, I think it's an 8 or a 9 point saw, but it has the gullets every, you know, couple of inches there. And uh, that's good for clearing chips. And uh, if you, I will put a link in the description to uh, another video I did on my channel showing this saw in, in action. Sawing up a, a couple of 2x4s put together to uh, more or less replicate, you know, the average 3.5 to 4 inch diameter chunk of deadfall that you're going to find. Uh, now typically the stuff that I find is all softwood because I'm closer to the uh, boreal forests in uh, upper parts of Ontario and Canada where I live. But that's me. It works perfectly fine on hardwood. It just takes a little more effort. The next implement, obviously, is once you've cross cut your wood to length, so you need some way to split it. And no two ways about it, the axe, in my opinion, is the best tool for splitting, specifically a splitting style axe. And my choice of implement in that one is a 28 inch Fiskars splitting axe. It has a specially wedge shaped head that's designed to make it much easier in splitting wood. Now there's a story behind this axe. And it's not that I specifically like Fiskars, it's just that I was at my local Home Depot one day looking for a splitting style axe and this one happened to be on clearance because it is the older model it's not their new x line and i got it for like 15 dollars without the without the case so i said sold and that was that but uh, i will say this axe is absolutely phenomenal it i don't think it it has it can be beat for the the value for performance in the dollar category but uh and a lot of people will give it flack because it's got a you know a fiber composite handle and it's hollow um, you know and you can't break it I've had stories of people on my um, the winter camping forum that I'm on I've had it out in minus 45 for you know days on end it works and a lot of people give a crap that you know it's just not durable if you have any issues with that one I'm gonna put a link in the sh the description to uh, Viet Normbo who did a destruction test on a Fisker's axe and basically the only way he got it to break is he, he basically used it as a sledge the sledgehammer to utterly pound the piss out of a, a big ass rock. And uh, it, it still would have held on if it wasn't for the fact that the top part uh, split and that was it. And at the end of the day, the axe head was still perfectly usable and you could still use that as a wedge or you could probably, you know, fashion another handle for it but I love it it works for me and that's all there is to it now the third implement that you may not have considered that uh, I picked up from Don over at four dog stove company is a pair of gear driven loppers which I found rather interesting but that's for the size of wood in between like say three quarter inch and one and a half inch just a little bit bigger than you can easily break over your knee or smacking it against another tree but it, it's just a little too small to, to saw and the really cool thing about that is it makes damn quick work of it and it's pretty efficient at doing it I have a stick down here that's a little bigger than I can break over my knee and uh, I'll give you a demonstration on that one now for those of you in Canada like me uh, Canadian Tire quite frequently has their Fiskars lines of axes and loppers on sale so if you go to their website and uh, create yourself an account there you can uh, set up sales alerts 
for uh, any items that you want. And that's what I did. And I was able to get the, the loppers over there this past spring or early summer for like 30% off. Which I thought was pretty darn good. So if you saw a second, I'll reposition the camera and we'll show you the, uh, the, the set of loppers in action. Helps to get the uh, piece of wood you're trying to, to shear off to get it all the way into the jaw. That's where all the leverage is. But as you can see, it's got a gear mechanism here. I'll get this back in the camera here so you can see it. It's got a gear mechanism down here that actually provides extra leverage. But as you can see, it makes pretty quick work of it.